Hi everyone. Welcome to Marvel Soft School Admin. This is Anand. In this video, I am going to show you how to customize a student report card. To create a report, you need to install the latest version of OpenOffice. How to install OpenOffice software? Go to Chrome browser. In the search box, search for OpenOffice. Click on the first link. Then click on I want to download Apache OpenOffice. Then click on download full installation. Before starting the report customization, I will show you the default student report in our software. Now I am logging into the software and will show you the report. Click on the grading system then select generate student report card. Select class, section, student, and FA1. Then click on preview. See here this is our inbuilt student report card. Some of the schools are using different types of report cards. For example purposes, I will show you one student report card. I am now going to show you how to create this report and how to use it in the software. Let's start student report card customization. Once the open office software has been installed, double click on it and select text document. First. I save the file name as a report card FA. Later I will show you why to give the file name report card FA. And add two columns. One column for school logo and another one for school details. After adjusting the columns, I add another table for adding the school name and make the adjustment. In this table, I add dollar school name for printing the school name. In that second column, I add dollar school address, dollar school city, dollar school zip. Here I can add a report card header, the header is Students Progressive Report Now I add 5 rows and 2 columns table for student detail In the first row first column, I add student's name dollar variable. Type student name, dollar first name and dollar last name. In the first row second column, I add student's admission number dollar variable. Type admission number, dollar admission, N, O. In the second row first column, I add the student's class details dollar variable. Type class, dollar grade. Then I merged both columns. In the third row first column, I add the academic year dollar variable. Type academic year, dollar profile. In the third row second column, I add the class section dollar variable. Type section, dollar section. In the 4th row 1st column, 
I add the student attendance details dollar variable. Type days present, dollar term 1 present days. In the fourth row second column, I add the student attendance details dollar variable. Type out of dollar term one working days. Then you can remove unwanted rows. Now I add two rows and four columns table for adding subject details and subject marks entry. In the first row first column, I add subject name as a header. In the first row second column, I add marks as a header. In the first row third column, I add grade as a header. In the first row fourth column, I add tutor sign as a header. In the second row first column, I add the subject name list dollar variable for category 1 subjects. In the second row second column, I add the marks list dollar variable for category 1 subjects. In the second row third column, I add the grade list dollar variable for category 1 subjects. In the second row fourth column, I add the tutor sign empty box for category 1 subjects. I add another one row for adding category 2 subject details. In the third row first column, I add the subject name list dollar variable for category 2 subjects. In the third row second column, I add the marks list dollar variable for category 2 subjects. In the third row third column, I add the grade list dollar variable for category 2 subjects. In the third row fourth column, I add the tutor's sign empty box for category 2 subjects. Once the details are added, make the table arrangements correctly and arrange the fonts accordingly. Now I add one row and four columns table for adding the total number of units examined and total number of course units. Once the details are added, make the table arrangements correctly and arrange the fonts accordingly. Now I add one row and one columns table for adding teacher remarks. Type remark, dollar teacher remarks. Now I add 6 rows and 3 columns table for adding grading system and principal remarks. Now I merge the first rows, first column, and second column. Here I type the header as grading system. 70% and above equals A, distinction. Above 60% and between 69% equals B, credit.
above 50% and between 59% equals C, pass. Above 40% and between 49% equals D, marginal pass. Below 40% equals F, fail. Now I merged all third columns and rows. Here I add principal remark. In the second row first column, I add the HOD and the above row leave it as empty. In the second row third column, I add the DEAN and the above row leave it as empty. In the second row fifth column, I add the principal and the above row leave it as empty. When you are finished adding all details, check the table arrangement, font size, and color of the created report. Save the file again. I will now show you how to add this report to our software. The newly created report is here. We need to copy that and paste it into our install software folder. Before replacing the report we need to take the old report card FA file backup. Here, we need to replace the newly created file. Now I have to take that report card backup. Now we replace the report. Now I am logging into the software and will show you the report. Click on the grading system then select generate student report card. Select class, section, student, and FA1 then click on preview. This is our newly created report card that has been generated successfully. If you need more information about school admin please contact us. Thank you for giving your valuable time to us. Don't forget to like, comment and share.